PT farms this matchup, but I'm not sure. It's dependent because I used to think the same thing too. Like, you know, like PT got a lot of answers in this. Squirtle with his water gun BS, but Ness has like really good buttons. And I, at least from what I've seen, the other Ness veterans, like PK Chris and like Sen and the other regionals and stuff, like they make edge guarding for PT very consistent with the PK fire angles. The, yeah, Nair, like Nair's a really good move. Oh, he got the Ooh. jab block with the little down tilts. Oh, yeah. The PK Thunder as yours is going to be critical in this match, too. Like, Ivysaur really cannot be comfortable oh. grabbing the ledge. Oh, and the Charizard is going to yeah. just die from there. He swap just so he can get the Squirtle back out right. for round two. Which is pretty strategic in every PT's answer. And yeah, Squirtle, Squirtle's mission right here, you just want to... Play a little bit of nooch and not get in, in, in kind of space around the buttons, but it's not. It's, it's like easier said than done. Yeah, I wonder why he opted get off Squirtle this easily. I think he wants bigger buttons. Yeah, like Squirtle buttons, like really good but a little stubby. But the thing was, but, but Ivysaur's main ish. Oh my god, nah, that, that, was that was clean. That was checkmate. Yo, he, that was wild. The only thing he could have done there was go Charizard and Flare Blitz. So, you know, yeah, PK Flash gonna take care of that. Either that or he could have potentially stalled with, I, with an empty Ivysaur up B, but that was still a really good play from, from Tony right there. What's the edge guard from Noko and a good sour spot Vine Whip? Nice. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he barely missed times. Barely misses the dare on the air dodge. He knew by how close he was going that it was going to be an air dodge. Oh, this is where Ness wants. I feel like Ness's easiest matchup out of the three would be Ivysaur. Because yeah. Ivysaur kind of struggles in neutral besides having that one razor leaf he can spam. But like every time I say an Ivysaur off stage, they, they just take a massive amount of percent from Ness's from Ness's special moves, or you just you just die. Oh good yeah, patience right, from yeah. Noko right there, knowing just that he was gonna regrab re it. Yep. Wait for the regrab punished with down tilt. Good get up attack right there too. Almost getting caught by the yo-yo. Yeah, that down there was like, yo, get back down. <laughs> get off there. me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see even at zero percent, I got a lot of stun. Already putting at Tony, damn near 60% right there. And what a spot dodge. Barely getting away from that grab right there. And now Noko punishing from the desperation that Tony wants to end right there. Tony might have had a lot of good momentum from that first stock, but Noko can bring it all the way back with just a couple of janky stuff. Oh, wow, what a beautiful yeah, nair right that, there. Oh, but the uh, back air is going to take, take it. it. That, was, that was well fought from Noku on, on the back end, but Tony was like, no, 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 I'm not yeah, going to let this slip. <laughs> like, Tony was like, wait, 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 wait <laughs> not, a minute. Not, not letting this slip, but man, that was some weird <laughs> options. He hit him with falling up air, and then he hit him with the, the last turned hit around, up, yeah. turned around there. Yeah, he yeah. turned around knowing that he was going to either air dodge there or some defensive mechanism that was going to go behind him. Yep. Using the back hitbox of near, it was really smooth. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, interesting. Tony right now, let me shut that down, down all of that momentum right here. Tony I'm expecting one, yep. probably either a run back or, or a smash. I don't know what it is. I'm seeing a lot of Smashville today from this whole venue. Yeah. Maybe it's a new move, but yeah, okay, run it back. Yeah, Noko enough. knew he could do better right there. Now, the Squirtle, I want to see a little more. We haven't seen that much Squirtle in the last game. We saw a lot of edge guards from Tony's perspective. Wow, he got away with just regular get up. Oh! Yeah, yeah, don't oh. leave this unpunished at all. Oh. Yeah. Oh um, wow, no punish! I actually there. think he wanted to shorten the um the up B by getting hit. Yeah, I think he wanted to shorten the up B. I think he would have killed them there. I also think he wasn't confident either. Like Noku literally had everything in condition to down air him off the bat, but he, Noku just rather get the stage and go from the control from there. But this is what I mean. Like I think this matchup is even because um Tony barely did anything. He did like a few a few trades here and there, and then now like Tony's up five percent. Unless Noku got something to say, not enough space to hit the Vine Whip right there. But the down here, nah, we playing right now. A nice jump read right there from Tony. That's not an easy thing to do with Ness, since his jump is very laggy. Oh my God, we, we, he, Tony is not giving any chances for this Squirtle to do anything right now. And I feel like that's what's making Noku a bit hesitant with the other pokes. Is that they, because Ivysaur and Charizard's hurt box is much bigger, he's playing like a bit very stiff. Yeah, you feel like you play most evasive with the Squirtle. So if you're getting if you're getting called out with the Squirtle, yeah. going the bigger hurt box is going to be a little uh, 
That's what I'm saying. Like Ness, Ness in this matchup, like he he got some answers to PT. Wow, good down throw right there. Take it. He needs some mileage off for this, but he gets called Another out with the jump out of the jump corner. Read. Yep. Oh, and this is losers' quarters too. So yeah. Tony wins this. That's it. No, no, no. It's a. Uh, That's a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Muffle, yeah, yeah. Bong it out. Cool. This is what we want to see. Oh, the back there. No, no, who's just pressing all the buttons right now? It's like, nah, I want to play a little more. But in this, but Squirtle and Ness, like you, you really have to play a little patient with Punishy. Oh my God, good movement from Tony, but. Doesn't really get anything out of it. Ooh. Noko has to make this edge guard count right here. What's it? That down there. Oh, it just farts on him and comes right back. Oh. Putting Tony yet again on his final stock. But he has to close this out before. Oh my god, before another jump read kicks in. The back throw. Not gonna do it. Up air looking. Forces yep. the air dodge right there. Noko knowing he does not want to die by the up air. The yo yo. Oh, and the ba he back aired him all three of his stocks yep. right there. Nah, he, he's been spacing it really well there. Seems to me that he had, Tony has an idea of what Noko's comfortable with. Like, that entire game, all back is. Literally nothing else killed him. Two of those stops with just major jump reads, and then that third one, he just delayed it without any fast falls, calling out the regular getup right there. And Charizard, the thing with him is that Charizard has a hard time getting back to ledge because he's just really big and everything. The only thing that makes a difference from the other heavies is that I got like one extra jump and a flamethrower to, to kind of mix it up. And Tony showing no, absolutely no fear at all yeah, he with just the up. <laughs> he just walked up and grabbed it. Man. Uh oh, falling there. Oh, rising instead. Yeah, it should have been more mileage off of that conversion, but I feel like Noku just has to capitalize on these edge guards right here. Like, he, he's doing a lot of damage to him, but it's not like he needs to, like, finish it. Wow, that hit! That Shout hit out to ID Source Fat Hurt Box getting him caught right there. Nah, Tony knew, though. Yeah. <laughs> Tony knew for sure. <laughs> My man, yo, like, it looked like the the Thunder already hit Ness. Yeah. And the fact that Ivy Sora was big enough to just delay it a little bit. Very unfortunate if you're a Noku fan. Yeah, no Noku had to be aware of that because you know he was gonna, you know he's gonna go for it anyway because oh he's gonna slap God. himself with it just to get out of like harm's way. Yeah. Back throw. Right. No, no, not back. Throw. Yeah, you wanna you wanna do a DI mix up at this point. A lot of a lot of people would say back throw. No, yeah, yeah. Get, oh. People are doing that. I like that. You know, sometimes grab release is a good answer for just get get, get some damage. Yeah. Wow, home run Tony from just, Tony. Tony just, uh, that was, oh no. That's why, yeah, that's why Ness just bodies Ivy Store, bro. Squirtle's the, the the best chance he has on making the matchup a little even. But even then, Squirtle can't really afford to trade. Flame thrower? Nah. Does not get the two frame. Not scared of Noku's pressure at all, but a great up smash yeah. right there, calling out. He tried the to land the PK area. fire on him. Now he did a he did it forward there, from what it looked like. Oh no jump. Fire. All right, he doesn't do it, but he does it over there instead. And Tony doesn't care about wrapping up damage little by little. He's not worried about, fo he's not focusing on specific combos, not trying to style with the PSI, just getting itty bitty bits of hits here and there, wrapping up as much percent as he can. And wow, what a call out with the, with the thunder. Oh. Oh, he almost had that. Yeah, back is going to do it anyway. And what a clean 3-0 for Tony. That was dominant. Yeah, getting rid of Noko right out of the bracket right there.